Next into the tank is a better way to engage and be heard in a group setting. Listen up, sharks. My name is Shane Cox. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm the creator of the cue ball. Now, I'm here seeking a $200,000 investment in exchange for 15% equity in my company. And now, this is the cue ball, but it's not just an ordinary ball. It's actually a wireless microphone. Oh, wow. Oh, so the cue ball is a fun Snap. and dynamic way to engage and interact with others. You can toss it, you can roll it, and yes, you can drop this mic. <laughs> which is why it's the perfect tool for the classroom. Now, students absolutely love the cue ball because it makes learning both fun and interactive. Teachers love it because it helps them manage classroom discussions, because if you have the ball, then you have the floor. Most importantly, we make sure that every student can be heard. But it's not just for the classroom. The next time that you're in an event and you want everybody to hear the audience member's question, just toss them a cue ball. Now our system is simple to set up and works with anything from pro audio systems to plain old desktop speakers. So tell me, sharks, who's ready to get the ball rolling with the cue ball? Mark's hands were up first, so. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. So where is it connected to? Like how so the way that it works is, uh, is a little receiver here comes with the system and that connects into your audio system. It's just a regular audio output. So you can plug it into the auxiliary input in your car. You can plug it into, like I said, desktop speakers. Do, some, do speakers. I get some samples? sort of speakers. That's the only one that's up and working, but you can at least get the, the feel of it. Thank you. What's the main reason I would buy this? So the primary application is actually for the classroom. There's a lot of studies that have been done on acoustics in the classroom. So as an adult, if Mark's saying something and I miss every third word, I can fill in the blanks. Kids, they don't fill in the blanks. Cognitive auditory processing doesn't develop until you're 15 years old. Hmm. How much does it cost? What's the price So it's this? $179 is the retail price on it. And what does wow. it cost you to make it? So it costs us $52 52? Landed. Have you sold any, Shane? Yep, so year to date, we've done $177,000. Well, that's great. All your sales are to schools. Probably 90% when we have some church groups, we have some public speakers. I'm a one-man show. So all the sales, that 177,000, that's me working trade shows. That's... Wow, do you have a patent? I do have a patent pending. Um, it's all about, so if, I don't know if you notice when I throw it, you don't actually hear any noise. So it's got sensors, it knows when it's being thrown and it puts itself to sleep basically. Clever. I guess here's what I'm struggling with. I think it's a great idea for classrooms, but short of calling on every single school, how do you sell the entire state of California? A lot of our growth is grassroots. It's through the teachers. And that is part of their persona. They want to be known as the techie you teacher. You help brand the teachers. So they'll go and buy it out of their own pocket. They'll uh, figure out some way to pay for it. it helps, Once it's in the huh? classroom, it wow. grows on its Shane, own. Shane, it's amazing what you're doing, but you just gave the challenge for the company. How do you scale that? I mean, how big do you think you can be in two or three years? I'm projecting by the end of the year, we'll be about $650,000 in sales. How are you gonna get from 177 so far this year to- So it's, it's the schools that have bought it. So the first half of the year, these were all schools that were saying, we're gonna buy one or two of these to test it out with the plan to buy a lot more in the fall. So in Texas, of for all example- all those teachers you sold one ball to, how many have come back and ordered more? Yeah, a big chunk of them. It's not, it's not the teacher, it's I get calls back from the school, from the principal now saying, hey, one of my teachers got these, I want more. So we have a global cybersecurity company. We really don't sell to a lot of school boards or governments because the sales process is just so hard. I'm gonna be old and gray by the time this thing scales. I'm sorry, I'm out. What are you gonna use the money for, Shane? For me, it's inventory. Right now, I haven't sold more because I keep running out. I haven't been able to do a consistent marketing push. So I get product, it's gone, and then I'm waiting. I've gotta use that money to buy the next batch. I'm waiting for more to well, come in. Well, here's my question. Can you use it with a polycom? Yeah, so it's again, it's just a standard audio out. I can't stand when I am sitting, and this is all day long, on a conference call with people, and I'm like, can you move closer to the polycom? I can't uh -huh. hear you, I can't yes. hear you. It drives me Bonkers. I see a huge corporate side to this. Every office should have this. So instead of huddling have you done around any the that speaker yet? Have you done any corporate sales yet? We've done a little bit. We haven't really But that seems like a much bigger yeah, opportunity. And a much so easier that, sale. Yeah. I mean, part of it was I've, I've, there's Valley, a lot of different markets me? that we can do for this. I just didn't want to go in too many different I directions. I kind of love it. I'm going to make you an offer. 
If another shark would like to go in with me. I'll go, I'll in. go in. I'm in. So now you got three. I got three. Woo! That's what I like. Three's good. OK, but you know what that means. It means more equity. It means more, more equity. equity. But, but you are getting a powerhouse. You get a powerhouse. Let's see. Everybody huddle. Everybody huddle. Okay. Yeah. All right, Shane. Yeah, we're so ready for you. This is a big right. one, buddy. All right. So it's going to be me with Mark, with Rohan. The dream team. 300,000 for 30%. The 30%. I think you have a terrific idea here. But I think that the experience that, you know, we could bring is how to take this from a vision standpoint to a much larger platform. Um, part of me, just as a business person, I can't not counter. So you're not, you're not interested in hearing any other offers on the table? Barbara's still in. I love you, Barbara, but. Don't say you're out. <laughs> but but, <laughs> but I, the powerhouse I, is just three the powerhouse. versus one. It's, 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 uh, Shane, you have an offer. If you would do it for 25%. Look, I respect the fact that you countered, but three for one, you don't get that chance very often. It's a deal. Done. Oh! <laughs> Great job, buddy. Thank Great you so idea. much. Genius, this is going to solve Thank all my problems. I'm, I'm ordering like congratulations. I'm ordering like problems. 30 for my companies right off the bat. Yeah, I know. Yeah, really seriously, great. get brilliant. them branded. Brilliant. John, congratulations. Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Lori, huh. I get what you're going to do with it. Yeah. Mark, I get what you're going to do with it. Ryan, you're going to create a drink out of it? Look, he's just jelly because he he dropped he's out because all he saw was education, and we're like, bro, it's a much bigger picture.